Hello, everyone. It's Anne Ray coming to you live from San Francisco, California. I am a fine artist just like you. I'm also the creator of the Making Art, Making Money program. And today I want to talk about the five reasons why art galleries are not working for fine artists and probably never will. So um, made a little sticky note of the points that I'd like to make. So first of all, just there's limited sales, right? You're, you have to, you know, hope and pray, please, please, please. <laughs> That's why I call it the permission and scarcity based art establishment. Please let me put a piece in your gallery, right? So you, you hope and pray that you'll get a very limited amount of inventory in the gallery, or maybe you'll be allowed to participate in a group show. And if you're really lucky, you have a solo show, but who the hell cares? You have a solo show and like one a year, maybe, and you're really fortunate, right? And then you got to get back, you have to get back in line. So can you imagine any business being able to thrive under those conditions where their sales were like physically limited? No, right? So that's reason number one why art galleries are not working for fine artists and never will. Now, number two, you look at my note here. Oh, sales commissions. Okay. So art galleries typically take anywhere from 30 up to, I've even heard 70% sales commissions. There's not a lot left over, over after they've taken those commissions, but that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is the third reason which is that art galleries do not provide the artist. This is, I know there's like a few exceptions, very few and far between. They don't provide fine artists with their collector's contact information. Well, that means the artists can't know their customers. Can you imagine any business being able to thrive without knowing who their customers are? No. Even though this is illegal in many jurisdictions, art galleries get away with it because they have such a long line of artists who don't have another option or who don't yet know they have another option. But that's number three, the fact that you can't know your own customers, uh, con your own customers. And like, it's not as if they buy the inventory. It's consigned. And in fact, it's unlimited tax-free inventory because they don't own it, which is a pretty sweet deal. Um, so then reason number four. So let's think, let's pretend for a moment things are going along swimmingly with your gallery. And if you're an artist right now that things are going well, I need to warn you you are eventually going to fall out of favor because another artist is going to come along whose art just sells better than yours. And they own a business and it's a business owner's responsibility to generate a profit. So out you go. You're going to be displaced by another fine artist whose art sells better than yours. So that's reason number four. Reason number five, a lot of artists already know this. Art galleries are going out of business left and right. You know, during the economic recession, 2007, 2008, over half of all art galleries completely went out of business and never came back. Well, during this global pandemic, that's happening again. Now, the good news is more affluent, affluent people are buying more art than they did before the pandemic. But are they buying from art galleries or art shows that have been canceled? Not really. They're buying directly from artists just like you. And the reason why is because they don't care about the middleman. They care about the artist. So you have a huge advantage that your art representative doesn't want you to know about. So if you want to learn more about the current environment for selling fine art, I'm going to invite you to join a free five-day challenge that's happening it's starting on Tuesday, January 18th and running till Saturday. And that's all you have to do is click below and apply. Uh, the classes, the live classes are 30 minutes each. 
And if you can't make a class, you can watch the replay, although it's always better if you can make the live class. And what I highly recommend is that you think of one or two other fine artists just like you and invite them to join you in the challenge. Now, the reason why this is really good thing to do is because if you've got someone else who's learning along with you, then you can share what you've learned and you can kind of support each other and hold each other accountable. That said, I will have some volunteer students in the fa our Facebook group for the live challenge who can help you. Now, if you've been in one of my challenges before, that's great, but this is a brand new one, so you don't wanna miss it. And if you wanna start 2022 off with a bang, I highly recommend that you join. So let me just recap the reasons, five reasons again, why art galleries are not working for fine artists and never will. Number one, your sales are incredibly limited. Your, your opportunity to actually sell is incredibly limited. It's like physically limited. That's number one. Number two, you're paying this absurd amount in sales commissions. That's number two. Number three, the more important part, you can't gain referrals. Now, number three, not being able to know your customers. Let me, let me do some math for you on that. When you know your customers, you can cultivate referrals. Ref people who refer to you are 82% more likely to buy from you and spend more money. And you keep 100% of that money. If you work with an art gallery, you're not getting any of those referrals and you're certainly not keeping 100%, right? So number that's number three. Number four, you got to deal with the reality that eventually, even if you're happy with your art gallery now, that's great, but you will eventually, chances are very high that you're eventually going to fall out of favor. And then last but not least, going to go out of business. Art galleries are going out of business left and right. Just like art shows are canceling and you better get with it, right? You've got three choices right now. They're all valid choices as long as you make them consciously. Right now, the art market is in a disruptive phase, but when there's disruption, there's actually opportunity. So number one, you can sit there, do nothing and guarantee your failure right? But don't whine about it if you didn't do anything when you could, right? I'm giving you an access to five full, five days of teaching for free. All right. So it's up to you. The other option you have is to do some things. Basically, I see artists guessing, well, I'll do a little bit of this and I'll do a little bit of that. I'll have a newsletter. You know, I was talking to an applicant today who is creating this art and she's going to give a percentage of the proceeds to a charity. I'm like, well, then you can't join the program because this is called the making art, making money program. And when you give your art away in, in, in total or in, or a portion of it, don't expect to be paid for it. Okay. Just don't. Um, that is, so that's an option. We can do a few things here and there. You're still going to fail. You'll just fail more slowly. Or you can do the right things right now and take advantage of the disruption that's happening in the art market because it's actually an opportunity. So I hope to see you on Tuesday, January 18th. It's going to start at noon Pacific Standard Time on the dot. If you're in Australia, you're probably going to be sleeping. Don't worry about it. You can watch it later. All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful.